Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to terminate network cable also known as Cat5, Cat5e or Cat6. What you will need for each end of your network cable you'll need two RJ45s, one on each end, two bootlegs to make it look nice, neat and pretty and professional a pair of crimps, we're going to be using this one today, a pair of snips and finally a tester which is so important, I'll show you how to test the cable at the end guys with a cable tester, they're about 10-11 quid from your local DIY store or your local wholesaler and it's so important you test the cable because it will save you an absolute potential disaster at the end. So. Let's begin. First of all, get your bootleg, put your bootleg over the end of the cable there. Then get your network cable, and in the network cable it has a rounded edge and it has some cutters, uh, you know, a, a sharp edge there. So you can put your network cable in, push down, give it a nice twist, and it'll give you a nice cut for your network cable just there. Then you'll have a little string inside, get the string, use your cutters, and just cut that string away. Now get each one of your individual cores and just twist them all so they're all separate from each other. Now you should have something that looks like this. I'll also put the wiring diagram up on the screen and I'll show you step by step how to do it, just a little some little tips with it to make it easier for you. So let's go in order. You want to get your orange and white followed by your orange and when you get each one, I just want you to grab the cable at both ends and give them a little shake. Keep them nice in line. Give yourself about an inch and a half of length. Then get your green and white. Put that next to those two. And again, give it a little shake. Followed by blue. followed by blue and white. Remember to get them all, pinch them and just give them a shake one by one as you go. Next one's green. Again, give it a little shake. Brown and white. And finally, brown. Confirm you've then got them all in the correct order. And when you've made sure they're all in the right order and you're giving them a little shake to get them all nicely in line as, as close as you can, get your snips and so you've only and then cut them all in line using your snips just there and make sure it's a nice line. Leave yourself with about three quarters of an inch sticking out from the cable there. Then you get your RJ45 connector and your flicky bit down, flicky bit facing down, right? And from left to right, you want to slot in. Your first on your left is going to be the orange and white, and the last on the right is going to be your brown, and the slots inside this RJ45 connector. And when you push it in, you can keep them all nicely in line, nicely in line all the way, and you're going to see that they all slot into their specific place. This is a little bit fiddly, especially if it's your first time. Just work them in, work them into their slot, work them in and they'll go in there and now give them all a good push. Give them a good push, all right? There's no problem giving it a good push there. You'll be able to see them at the end when you identify it. You'll be able to see them all pushed up against the end there to make sure they're all the way in because you see these gold bits here? There's what crimp downs onto the cable. So then when you look at it, you can see again the order of the cable. So just give yourself another visual check to make sure you've got that order right. Then when you're happy with that, get your network crimps, put your network cable in and give it a good squeeze. And take it out, give it a tug, make sure it's all okay. Then roll your bootleg whoop, up to the end just there and slot it into place. And you've now done one end. Now I'm going to do the other end and I'll just do it quickly so that I can then show you how to test it. That's one end done. 
So once you've terminated your network cable, guys, I want you to plug it into your tester. This is vital you do this after each cable that you've installed so that you can prove the cable was fine when it was put into place when it was installed. If you don't test your cable and you start boarding and skimming and decorating and things like that and then realise afterwards that the cable's got a problem, you've got a real problem on your hands because you've got to try and run a cable again through a house or a building that's all been done up. So plug them into each end, flick to on, and you'll start to see green lights going down from one to eight on both sides of your tester, proving that the cable is working exactly as it should do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you've done that, you confirm that the cable is working as it should be. Maybe you're someone who's into DIY. Why not check out my DIY security system, the Godfather setup? Just click here 